Subscribe to our channel. so impressed. That's like an excellent braid. This is your first time braiding your own hair. You were in there for a while. I was like, I wonder what she's doing. Well, I was brushing it and then I put it in a little ponytail up here and then I was like, oh, wait a second. If I can put it in a ponytail and I went over to the mirror and I was like, okay, I started braiding and then I went up in my in my box to get a binder in the back and then I twisted the binder on and then came out and I said mommy mommy look at my hair <laughs> I'm so proud of you I braided it we left Apache Junction and headed over to Gold Canyon we decided to stay in this area for about a month just to kind of regroup and see where our next moves would be and wait for the weather to warm up. Hey everyone and all of our viewers, I'm a hairstylist but I've been living on the road for about three months and before that we were renovating our bus so I've been super neglectful to my hair. Um, it's just been grown out, it hasn't got a good color, um, it's getting like straggly. I just brushed it all out, I have natural wave and I brushed it out because I am going to do something drastic. Stay tuned. Alright, so when you don't have a hairstylist and you're living in a bus, you put your hair in a ponytail, another ponytail, this is not going to be a professional cut, this is just a cut this off. Then I am going to give myself a professional cut because I am a professional. So I haven't had my hair this short, probably 9 years, so 10 years, 12 years, 15? <laughs> All right, so it looks kind of straggly right now because like I said, I brushed all my way about, but this has got to go sometimes. You just got to do something drastic. I'll cut the rest and show you guys the end. I just chopped it. I got to do some fine tuning and style it. I really should do a new color. I'll let you know what it looks like. Well, what do you guys think? I did it. I cut my hair off. This is the shortest it's been in so long, I can't even tell you guys. But I love it. It feels so free. It's going to be easy and fun and playful. <laughs> to our new location and I am whipping up some dinner. We got some golden beets, regular beets, and broccoli, uh, baby broccolis, baby broccolets, <laughs> whatever they are. We're gonna roast this in the oven with a little bit of avocado oil and some organic onion salt. Standing on the bus step and this is our new location. Here's what we get to see every morning. It's very beautiful and very relaxing out here. We got our generator on. We're gonna make some ice. Car is parked, the sun is shining. It's a beautiful day. Right now, it is 67 degrees and sunny. There's absolutely clear blue skies. Hey ho guys, this journey has been pretty wild. We really feel that we were called to leave the land of familiar, our old life, and move into the unknown and go where God calls us to go and do what he wants us to do.
And so this journey has been all about that. And it's had its ups and downs, but we're continuing on the quest. We're continuing on down the dusty trail, <laughs> literally. And we're excited to see where God takes us next. We're just just faithfully trying to walk in his ways. We still haven't found what home is. We embarked on this journey in hopes and we are expecting an answer from God. We're waiting in expectation that he shows us where our forever home is. But man, it doesn't get much better than these Arizona sunsets. When God paints a canvas in the sky like this, you can't help but want to serve and worship him and be thankful and grateful. And that's how I felt every day that we've been here when I'm able to sit around the fire with my kids, spend time with them, not be in a rush, and see the beauty that this place has to offer. I turned nine and the only thing I wanted to do for my birthday was ride horses and so we met some friends and they are so nice and they go to our other friends church so we rode horses at their house for my birthday. because it's my birthday and I turn nine. <laughs> Happy birthday, Eden. I'm nine. <laughs> nine. Adam and I took her out to yeah. eat for a special lunch day at, matter. is it Joe's you know, Grill? Yeah. This farm fresh place here in Arizona. So how's work going? And she's getting a strawberry milkshake for her birthday. Mm -hmm. Did you know that? Yeah. <laughs> and some delicious lunch. This place is pretty epic. <laughs> Hi, I'm Eden, and it's my birthday today, so I got a strawberry milkshake. And the best part about my day was all day, because we got to go to our friend's house, and I got to ride horses, and go to this restaurant, and get a milkshake. And it's only half over. Because <laughs> we got going so early. 
Seriously? Seriously. <laughs> you don't even know what to think. Yeah. And then we're going to go home and make ice cream. And we're going to have a campfire. And I'm going to play with my friend Maya. the desert and it's beauty because mm -hmm. there's so many great sunsets and yeah. mountains and mm -hmm. cactuses except yeah. when you get hurt by one. Mm -hmm. But they're so beautiful and it's so awesome in the desert because I, I just love it.